In this video, I am going to talk about aligning form elements. So notice on this form that I have a label and then a text box, a label and a password box. And things are just lining up at the end of the label. And so you notice that these input elements are all over. There's no alignment, no organization, doesn't make it particularly clear. Uh, there is a uh, heading organization, so each area is labeled with headings and that facilitates organization of a form. But how do we do the alignment of this? So if I want these all to be aligned in a straight line, so I want the boxes to be in a straight line and the labels are first, then I need to make the labels uh, the same width. So if I go up here and I say I want the label to be width 240 pixels and I save that, notice that nothing happens. And this is because the label is an inline element and width only applies to block elements. I want to keep this in line. I don't want the label to be on a separate line. If I make it block, then it's going to have a blank line before and blank line after and that input is box is going to be below it. And I don't want that, but there is a way to get uh, inline block. And that way it stays in line, but it will accept the properties associated with block. So it'll be able to apply this width element. And there, I've look how that lined all of those input elements up, right? Because I established a particular width for the labels. So each of those labels are taking up that particular width. Down here where the label comes after, you don't see it so much, but they're the same. They have added widths to them, but it didn't make the alignment different because these were already aligned straight along the left hand side because there was no label to the left of them. Now if I don't like the distance here, this is quite a distance between the label and the box, what I can do is I can do the text align and make it go right and then that moves that label right up against the text box. Still get the alignment but now the label is right by the input element. So I want to add a different kind of alignment down here on my check boxes and my radio buttons. Number one, I do not want those labels to be right justified. And so I'm going to change that. And the way I'm going to change that is I'm going to put a class on these, uh, on these two sections. So on the bottom one, I'm going to put class equals report. And the one with all the radio buttons, I'm going to put class equals other. And that way in here, I can say when you have class.other and there's a label in there, so a label inside class.other, I want the text aligned to be left. And sure enough, I get those left justified uh, labels, which is what I want. Also notice that this is not wide enough. And these are plenty wide for up here. I don't need to make these labels wider, but I need the ones in here wider. So I can just simply say, well, I want the width to be more. And I don't really care about um, them running out. They're not moving things around. So I can make it quite a bit bigger. And then it captures that label there. Now, the other thing that I want is I want some indentation here so that my heading is here and then the things inside are indented. So the way that I can do that is with margin. So I'm going to put a margin left and I'm going to say I want to indent it 32 pixels. So if I say that and I refresh, ah, notice what that's on. That's on the label and that's not what I want. I actually want it on those input elements. So I need to consider this differently. I need to say, oh, up here in my check boxes and my radio buttons, that's where I want the margin left, right? Not in the label, but actually on the check boxes themselves. So if I refresh there, I get that indentation that I want. Now inside each checkbox, so when this box is checked, these radio buttons apply to that checkbox. And when this checkbox is cl clicked, this drop down list applies to that one. So I want to indent these even further. I want those to say, oh, they're a sub list of this checkbox. So if I do that, then I need to be able to capture um, the radio buttons. So what I'm going to say is I want the margin left of the radio button to be different. So 
I still want the height and width to be the same. So I'm going to separate out just the margin. And for radios, I'm going to make the margin uh, left higher. So I'm going to make it 72 instead of 32. And I'm going to pull a separate checkbox here because um, I don't want to set and then unset that radio button. So I'm going to put the margin. That's So notice how the checkbox and the radio have the same. I want the same height and width for them. But I don't want, I want different um, margins. So I put the ones that are different and separate. style rules. And now I have an indentation on the checkbox and a different indentation on the radio button. Okay, now the checkbox I want to move in and remember that the checkbox is a different creature so I want the checkbox is down here under the select statement. And if I add a margin left to that then I get it to line up as well. So you can add alignment by adding widths, uh, margins, padding sometimes help, so you want to play with those properties until you get them the way that you want.